Who's that, mate? Duh. It's your friend. Hi. <laughs> Hello, darling. How are you? Hello, Cleveland. <laughs> Hello, how are you, baby? Oh, good, good boy. boy. Hello, good boy. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's all right, buddy. It's okay. Yeah, she's very excited <laughs> to see him. She's already had a huge bush walk this morning. Has Off leash. Yeah, she's running around the bush and swimming. Hello, the Angel. Hello, sweetie. Oh, there you go. Yeah, thank you. That's there you okay. Go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll be, I'll probably be at the very moment. Mum will be back soon, don't worry. Or done. She's, she's just getting she's just getting used to not having a mum here.
No, she's just looking at the gate. You like that one, mate? Can I do it again? Or you're taking yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, righto. What are you doing, Dora? What are you doing? Come on. Hello, mate. Oh, yeah, okay, you. Attention on you. He's a little bit... I felt like he might have been a little bit jealous last time in a few things. That's, that's said it again, you know, when I was talking to Cora. <laughs> He's come over and go, hey, hey, what about me? Oh, you want me to play with you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Throw it again. Want me to throw it again, mate? Oh, got this. There we go. Oh, you want it? Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> go. It's a bit funny when I chase him, so um, this might be a good opportunity to start getting him used to it, you know?
All right, darling. Hey, it's okay. It's all right. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, darling. Good girl. Cool girl. Oh. Mama's coming back, don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Those teeth well. Smelling there, darling. Sun's hot, isn't it? When it pops out. Mum said it's supposed to rain for a couple of days. That'll be good. We need some. <laughs> You're busting that up, are you, mate? <laughs> Mate. Oh, mate. You need some help? <laughs> <laughs> you need some help, buddy? Okay, buddy. Come here, mate. I'll give you a hand. <laughs>
Come on, race me. <laughs> you do. Hi. <laughs> Miss Red, come on, darling. Good girl. Hello, sweet boy. Hello, Hello you made it. You made it. Oh. Hi. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Hi. Hi. His red does uh, is relentless.
You're a funny boy. Crazy. You're such a crazy little girl. <laughs> Hello, beautiful.
<laughs> Beautiful smile. Come on. It's mine. It's mine. I'm pretty sure dingoes don't like coffee. Pretty sure. <laughs> Miss Red. Miss Red. Miss Red. Cruiser. That's enough, buddy. Come on. Hey, darling. Miss Red. Miss Red. Cut it out. There you go. No more. No more. <laughs> mm. 
Hey, 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 cruiser. Hey, you totally put out the wrong messages. Maggie. Oi. No. No growling. No growling. Understand your grouse. They mean something else. So while you were just up at the house making some lunch to bring back down, um, <laughs> turns out he likes corn. Oh, I think that's Cora's mum. It was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Luke, um, Joe's just come to pick up Cora, so Cora's gone, and it was such a another great, it was a good little yeah, around, wasn't it? little play date for Cruiser. Um, just quickly, uh, uh, <laughs> there's probably a few things um, to talk about, but a bit of a debrief. Cora was a little bit nervous to start with because um, Joe left this time, um, didn't stay. Yeah, so it was just a pretty standard case of. Um, you know, initial separation anxiety on the first time being left behind. Yeah. You know, and that's very normal. We see, we've seen it a million times when yeah. we used to run the daycare. And so we knew, you know, this is just one of those things that it'll either, um, you know, be fleeting and she'll get over it or that's the end of the play date. Yeah. Um, but she very quickly kept coming back to us and was fine. Uh, then we let these guys in. And having the change in dynamic really pulled Cora out of that worrying for mum. Yeah. Uh, so that was really good. But uh, so they had a really good play, um, really especially good. Miss Red. I mean, Miss Red's just so playful, isn't she? She just forces play on everyone. <laughs> she does. No one's gonna escape her um, her playfulness. So. Um, and, and so Cora is going to come back for other play dates, which will be good. And we just spoke with Joe saying that we might try to slowly introduce some other members of the pack 
um, which Joe was real happy about because it's good for Cora, you know, to get that socialisation. Yeah. So um, that's great, isn't yeah, it? And, and I think Cruiser really enjoyed having a couple of his siblings in here too. Yeah, I think so. I think that um, he was he was really focusing on the toy when um, Cora was a little bit nervous about mum leaving. But then once um, these guys came in, he just went into play mode and he did. it was really cool. They started doing zoomies around everywhere. It was good. So um, and just one other thing I wanted you to just comment on is, um, so you left just to um, go make a coffee to bring back into the, into the paddock. Um, and whilst you were gone, uh, we, we were sitting down in the sand pit and um, all the dogs were playing. Now, Maggie was doing this where she does her vocalising, which yeah. sounds like a growl. Mm -hmm. um, and it clearly put off Cruiser. Um, he really started to show his teeth. Um, and obviously I was wagging my finger. <laughs> Maggie, come on, Maggie. Oh, my goodness. I'm here by myself. You know, Cruiser's not processing yeah. the, the, what you're putting out here. Yeah. Because um, she's not meaning it. Oh, it's a pack cow going on, isn't there? Oh, is he going to... Good on you, buddy. So, just in the background, the pack were, howl. were howling. Because, um, <laughs> oh goodness, they're just involved in everything all day and, and they're they out for. They sat out on this occasion <laughs> and they're not happy about it. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, there's a happy dingo over there. Look at him. Super duper happy. So just back on Maggie, so she was growling, um, not in like a negative, negative way. No, that's why she plays. Yeah, she she's, she's very, very vocal, vocal plays, yeah. but Cruiser was totally um, getting nervous about what he was Thinking hearing. His aggression. Yeah. So I guess um, or maybe it's maybe it's really obvious, and there's no need to that we need to explain it but I guess on if we talk about both Maggie and Cruiser yeah. from Cruiser's point of view you can see that he can't read that that growl he sees that as a threat yeah yeah he sees that as a threat and uh, uh, whereas Maggie is purely just playing uh, and she's not intending to take that so-called aggression any further at all. That's that's how she is, and she's not saying I'm going to escalate to this. She's doing it right now, and she's yeah. like lying down, accepting all the play. She used to do it to the puppy litters. I don't know if you she, remember she that. She does it to me every time I play. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but um, Cruiser yeah, was so quite concerned. Was thinking, hey, why are you being aggressive? Um, and Sam showed me the video of Maggie going over to Cruiser while Cruiser was lying down but baring all his teeth. Yeah, so she was right up in his face growling yeah. and then he even took a few snaps at her, yeah. so, like so getting that, quite worried. Yeah, so that's where the communication breaks down between Dingo and, and Dog because Cruiser is not submitting in that situation. So any normal dog who goes into that um, down position it's usually not associated with the full showing of the teeth. And so that's where the confusion was for her. Uh, because she's like, this is a weird sign. But because he was lying down, uh, she took that as, um, you're submitting. So she came and stood over him. And that's why he snapped. Because basically all he was saying was, I'm not a threat, don't focus that aggression at me. But if you do, this is what you're going to deal with. And that's why he's showing the teeth. Yeah. And so that's where that's where there was a big uh, misunderstanding from myself and Cruiser when we first came. When he's showing me those teeth, and instantly I'm I'm thinking he's showing me aggression, but he's not. He's just saying I want nothing to do with whatever's going on there. 
don't come this way or I'll defend myself. Mm. You know what I mean? But he's not being an aggressor, so mm. to speak. Whereas in mm. the domestic dog world, that's what it means. If someone's showing teeth, they're like, you see these? Yeah, let's go. I'm going to use them, you know, and I'm going to pursue or I'll come down. But that posture there that he's showing, um, it's it's new to, to both myself and this pack. And that's why there's a miscommunication. So it's almost like they have to learn a new language. It could be part of, um, you know, why that he has had some um, relationship breakdowns within the pack. But... Um, and yeah, then it's, it's it's an interesting thing because when I saw it when I saw you show me the, the video, I was like, oh, that's exactly what he did to me, you know. But you you definitely um, definitely can't miss those teeth. It's the most impressive set of lip curling you've ever seen. They're big ones. They are big teeth. Yeah, we were yeah. just talking to um, to uh, Cora's mum, and mm. she was saying that when. Cora she, was a puppy. When she was a puppy. Someone ID'd her as a dingo based on the size of her teeth. Yeah. Um, yeah it's true because he's got a good set on him. Yeah. And it was someone who... Um, was a ranger. A ranger, yeah, who had, you know, a bit to do with dingoes and um, but could just tell from the teeth. So, but then from Maggie's perspective, yeah. um, on the other end of things, yeah. um, obviously our pack is... Completely, they're, they're, a, they're a custom. They speak Maggie's language. They do, yeah. um, but she did fail all of her meet and greets, which is why she came here. Um, because Maggie, Maggie's a funny one. She's very interesting. She's very complex, um, and although she has no intention of being. Uh, aggressive or antisocial mm. when she does this she is purely a playful boxer at heart she also has a very strong sense of injustice and <laughs> won't stand for it so if a dog comes and uh, nips her she just like excuse me you know and and wants to settle the score um, we've seen it a couple times with Joey and her and and whatnot but um, not so much anymore because she knows she can't do it. So back then, she's giving off all those signals that other dogs are misreading. So then they're showing aggression to her and she would have just been like, hey, here I am playing and you bit me. You know, I'm not no, happy with that. You goodness. can't do that. You know what I mean? So you yeah. can see why these meet and greets just didn't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that we really understand her, she's just a playful puppy that is um, deaf and very vocal for all we know she's saying Woohoo, this is the best play of my life yeah, yeah. <laughs> but really she's going ah, ah. <laughs> she has no idea it's just how she plays <laughs> yes. Don't be nipping my butt, mate. <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? Huh? We're playing. We're playing, mate. He did. He, he, oh. Hello. He's trying to play with you. He is. Yeah. No, he didn't. He didn't nip me on the butt. He just nose poked he, me. He's but going he's like. Try, he's he's trying just to going grab like my this. shirt. Uh, yeah, and I it's know. not closing down. Well, he's trying to he's trying to grab it, but yeah. it was very slow. Ooh, uh, he slow. he just um. But there's nothing mistakable about feeling skin on teeth. You're like, <sighs> oh, what's happening here? <laughs> but he wouldn't know how to play like that. Well, that's what he's I was saying looking before. at that, thinking I want to get involved. Well, that's what I was saying before when he doesn't like when I try to rev him up and play. He shows me the play um, behaviour when he's excited to see me. And so I reciprocate it and he freaks out. So I've stopped doing it to him. Um, but that's why I started, wanted to do it with her. Cause then straight away you saw a different reaction. He's like, oh, okay, I want to get involved. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. But the first one was a little butt grab. <laughs> and then a shoulder <laughs> grab. <laughs> Very typical dingo, the the butt grab. Yeah. 
Hey, mate. Good boy. Good boy, mate. Yeah, good job. <laughs> good job. You had a good day. Yeah. You had a good day. Yeah, good boy. Hello, mate. Hello.